What's fun and furry and full of four-legged friends? It's Tuxes and Tails, the annual fundraiser for the Seattle Humane Society. We call it the most barked about charity event of the year because it really is something special. The highlight of the evening is our tail wagon celebrity and pet fashion show. Meg Coyle and Michael King. Local TV and radio personalities walk the runway with their best friends or shelter pets looking for a loving home. There's nothing else like this at any other charity event. Sold for $1,400 bid number three. All of the money raised at Tuxes and Tails stays right here in our community, funding the life-saving work of the Seattle Humane Society. And this is, this is an awesome shelter. It, very, very nice people, super clean, awesome staff. Every animal who comes to the shelter receives a complete physical and any necessary medical care. All are spayed or neutered, microchipped and vaccinated. Unlike other shelters, there are no time limits at the Seattle Humane Society. We care for all adoptable animals for as long as it takes to find them a loving home. At most shelters, a 10-year-old dog like Cotton would be considered unadoptable, but not at the Seattle Humane Society. Oh, she has many good years in her. Yeah, she does. She's full of life. Each year, we find homes for more than 5,000 companion animals, mostly cats and dogs, but also some rabbits and other small critters. Now, the Seattle Humane Society shelter is meant to be a temporary home for surrendered, lost, stray, and abandoned animals, but we want their stay with us to be as pleasant as possible. The new cat condos are bright and colorful. This home-like environment helps adopters find the perfect companion for them. <coughs> to increase adoptions, we found a way to bring pets to the people. It's the Maxmobile. You'll find Max at community-minded retailers like Safeway, Ikea, and Whole Foods. Over the last few years, we've done a lot to improve the housing for the dogs and cats in our care, but we simply don't have space for every animal who's brought to us. That's why our foster families are so important. This spirited dachshund came to the Seattle Humane Society when another shelter couldn't keep her any longer. Sassy had a painful bladder condition. Our vets treated her and the Barker family, Donna, Chris, and Emma, opened their home to give Sassy a peaceful place to recuperate. Yes, I think it's a really important thing to do and it's really fun. The Barkers fell in love with Sassy and made her a permanent part of the family. <laughs> and look at these little guys. They're too young to be in a shelter. They need to be in a home with their mom. Foster parents Terry and Steve Mead make that possible. Sometimes I spend just hours sitting in the middle of the floor and I'm the um, human uh, climbing post. They climb all over you and they just love the attention. The Seattle Humane Society's Pet Food Bank helps people with AIDS, seniors and low income individuals who need a little extra help to keep their pets. Hi Judy, I have your food delivery here. For Judy Swanson, who lives in a senior center in Renton, her cat Tabby means everything. She's just my beautiful baby. For Judy and hundreds of others, the monthly food delivery from the Seattle Humane Society makes a big difference. Hi. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Our mission is clear, bringing people and pets together for lifetime relationships. The Seattle Humane Society is a private nonprofit shelter. We rely solely on generous donors. With your help, we can continue this life-saving work. Thank you. Yeah.